down for my November challenge for the Stealth Camping Alliance. I am going to be camping behind a factory tonight. I want to thank BJ, my buddy BJ, for dropping me off. Thank you, BJ. Uh, we're about a mile from where he's going to drop me off, so I'm going to get off here, get my stuff ready. When I get up in the woods out of sight, I'll get back with you then. See you then. All right, guys. This is us for the night. Uh, there's somebody deer hunting over that way because their truck was parked back there down the road, so I didn't end up going where I was going to go. But you can probably hear the factory in the background. I can actually see the building from here, but I think we'll still be okay here. So uh, let me get my chair and my table out, and uh, I'll tell you what we got going on. See you in a few. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on. First thing, I want to give a shout out to the Stealth Camping Alliance. Uh, this is my November challenge camp. Uh, the Stealth, Stealth Camping Alliance cook-off. Uh, this is my food. We'll talk about that later. Of course, I got a Mike Tartar Black Cherry for starters. And I have a Gatorade, a couple of waters, the last of the blackberry brandy for my coffee, for my uh, hot chocolate. I have a Bud Light Lime for my dinner. And I got a Mike's Harder Pineapple Mandarin. And of course, as usual, two double shot fireballs. So I think we got that part of it covered. Uh, put this back in here. I'll go over that later since it's part of my challenge. Right now, I'm going to sit here and uh, drink my. Mike's Harder Black Cherry, or at least get started on it. And I'm going to set up camp. And I'll see you when I get camp set up. See you in a few. Cheers. Yeah, good stuff. It's supposed to be chilly tonight. It's supposed to get down to 19. And if this wind keeps blowing, it's going to be impossible to have a fire, which I was hoping I would be able to do. But I guess it is what it is. <sighs> Alright guys, here's this is home for the night. We're all set up, ready to finish drinking our cold snack and uh, the factory's right over there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees or not. Maybe you can hear the humming, I'm not sure. And the road is back that way, about five or six hundred feet. So this is going to be home for the night. And uh, I'm going to sit down and relax and enjoy my cold snack and listen to some music. And uh, I'll see you in a few. It is still 45 degrees right now, but it's still supposed to get down to 19 degrees tonight. So it's going to be a chilly one. But we're pretty much set up. We'll be all right. fire if that, if that wind don't die down. It'd be tough to do anything if that wind don't die down. Well, Kentucky's only losing to Georgia right now three to nothing in the second quarter. Wow, they held Georgia to three points in the first half. That's awesome. I figured it was going to be a bloodbath. Very likely still could. That's cool. That's awesome. All right. 
Alright guys, let's get our trail cam set up. I'm gonna set it up right over there. That way if anything comes in here by the tent, we'll see it. Alright guys, let's start getting ready to make some dinner. It's, start, it's getting ready to get dark on us. Hopefully I won't have to use these, but I brought them just in case. Supposedly they're good to 30 below, but uh, not. But they are pretty warm. Uh, Alright guys, let's, uh, let's make some dinner. I love this stuff. <laughs> Before I start making dinner, I want to uh, give a shout out to the Stealth Camping Alliance. This is the November challenge. It is the cook-off challenge. And I want to thank Squib for uh, posting what it was. I wrote it down. I hope I got it all. And this is what we're supposed to do. We are supposed to stealth camp. We're supposed to cook something. And we're supposed to hashtags uh, stealth camping alliance cook-off and hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. And we're supposed to tell how and why we got into stealth camping and why we're still stealth camp. And uh, we're, we're supposed to post our receipt, our, our, <laughs> our receipt. We're supposed to post our recipe in the description on our video. I can do that. My, my uh, recipe's pretty simple. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in a pot and cook it up. So, uh, Squib, I want to thank you, buddy. And, uh, all right, what we got? Let's see what we got here. All right. For the meat part of our dinner, we got some Hillshire Farm kielbasa sausage I have a onion I'm gonna cut up a potato I'm gonna cut up a green bell pepper I'm gonna cut up and a half a head of cabbage. I have uh, uh, I've got some salt, some lemon pepper, and some Perfect Pinch Salad Supreme seasoning. I put this stuff on everything. I put it on my pork chops, I put it on my steaks, I put it on my eggs, all three of these. I put them on everything I eat just about. It is awesome. So, we're gonna put it on our meal tonight. So, all right. Well, uh, we're going about this all wrong. This is the part where, this is the time where we're supposed to get our dinner drink out. <laughs> Which is, as usual, a Bud Light Lime, one of my favorites. Cheers. I hope everybody's having a great night. Jack Boy's having a good night. It's a little chilly, but, you know, it ain't too bad yet. <laughs> ah. 
Alright. Yeah, that's how I like to do it. How you like to do it? Alright. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this head of cabbage up. Cut the tater up. Hello. Yeah, no, I seen that. It was, it was. Uh, I turned it on. It was the second, second quarter was just starting, and uh, it was only three to nothing. The next time I checked, it was six. I can't believe they've held them to three field goals. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. But now they do get the ball back start right here just second. Is was it half, half over or something? That's cool. So, how's it going? It's going. I'm cutting up. I'm cutting up my tater right now for my dinner. That's cool. Yeah, I'm making. See anybody at all? Uh, no, not yet. I haven't. Even better. I've been waiting to hear that truck start up, but I ain't heard it yet. Are you far off the road? Uh, probably five or six hundred foot, and I'm probably at maybe eight hundred or a thousand feet from the factory. Okay. But I tried to. Well, I tried to get the game up on the radio, but the only the only stations that are available are, are up around Louisville. I, I downloaded an app, but I went ahead and deleted right. it just because it wouldn't. The only places, the only radio stations it had were out of Louisville, so okay. none of this, none of the Louisville stations probably won't have the Kentucky game. I'd say yeah, flew it out probably. Yeah, and, oh. and and hell, there's a chance that hell Louisville's probably playing. They might not be playing right now, but they're probably they're playing today probably for sure. That's what I'd be thinking. Yeah. Well, call me, call me later. Let me know what happens, just in case I can't get it. All right, man. I know that wind's still blowing. Uh, it's calm right now, but yeah, it's been blowing real hard off and on. So, all right, man. I'll call you back a little bit. All right, bub. I appreciate it. All right, bye. See. You. That's my buddy BJ. He always calls and checks on me. I wouldn't be able to do this without him. He's my, on these stealth camps when I gotta sneak in, he's my ride. Everybody else thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> and they're right. I mean, not necessarily because of this, but I am crazy. Let that cabbage cook down a little bit. It'll cook down to nothing. That's why. I, that's why I brought so much. Don't need both of them. So you can put the spork back. Black and Miles. They're pretty good.
Cheers, everybody. Ah, ah, man. That's good stuff. Someone just rang my doorbell. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What the fuck was that? I'm not sure what just happened right there, but uh, I do believe we better investigate. <laughs> Son. Uh, I'm not real sure what happened right there, but we had uh, some kind of an equipment failure or a flare up or something. <laughs> okay. I hope that showed up on the camera. This has been a heck of a flare here. This thing might have blocked it. But something just went poof. <laughs> Alright. I'm not real sure what that was all about, but I will say this, I didn't much care for it. Now we're talking. It's starting to cook now. I don't know what the deal was with the stove, but something was leaking or something. This window stayed laid down. I brought my little fire box. We'll put us a little fire in there once we get dinner done. We got this right now, and it's putting off a little bit of heat. I can warm my hands up anyway. Go ahead and put some seasonings on it. Just start to cook down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the I'll put some more of that in there here in a minute. In fact I'll be putting some more of all of it in there here in a minute.
It's already getting good. All right. Let's cut up our cut up our cut up our green pepper. Cut up our sausage. I'll go ahead and say it before you do. I'm not the most graceful cook. <laughs> some light on this situation, what do you think? I think that'll be all the salt I'll put in it. I put a bunch earlier. I believe I'm going to put on uh, an episode of uh, Law, or, uh, Alone. I still got it downloaded. I've been saving it for camping. And I've been looking forward to it. I'm going to put it on. I think I got seven more episodes. Let's check the football game. The score of the Kentucky Georgia football game. It's 16 to nothing in the fourth quarter. The spread was 22 and a half, so 
they're still covering the spread. That's pretty cool. That's uh, I didn't expect them to. I figured it'd be at least 22 points. Awesome. I mean, they're losing, and they haven't scored, but Georgia has an awesome defense, so somehow that's no surprise. All right. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. All right. It is definitely done. I am going to turn the... All right. All right, guys. I'm going to see if you can see this. That is... One half a head of cabbage, one potato, one green bell pepper, one onion, and one big old piece of kielbasa sausage. And it is, mm, it is awesome. Mm. Time to put a loan back on and enjoy our dinner. We'll see you in a few. Now, let's eat. That is absolutely delicious. I don't know if I can eat it all, but I'm gonna eat some more. There's quite a bit left. I don't know if I need it all, but I'm going to do my best. There's the hot setup right here. Back on, that's good. Man. Mm. It probably won't compete in the challenge, but boy, it's sure good. Man, oh man, it's good. Ah, good camp food right there, buddies. I ate the whole thing, <laughs> but I ate it all. That's it. I emptied the kettle.
Oh, excuse me. Even with my little fire pit here, I'm gonna have to get a jacket out here in a bit. It's chilly. It's a chilly, chilly, chilly. And it's gonna get chillier. We'll probably be in the tent early tonight. Although it's probably only about seven o'clock or something. It gets dark at six. Should have, I should have checked the score of the Kentucky Georgia football game, but I'm kind of afraid to. But uh. all right, guys, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cover a little bit more of my November challenge. Part of the challenge was you are supposed to say how you got started in stealth camping and why you are still stealth camping. Well, how I got started in stealth camping is I started out watching like Joe Robinette and other guys that were doing the kind of stuff he was doing, the bushcraft stuff, which I really enjoy. I still watch it. I still watch every one of his videos. Uh, but I'm not real sure why but a Sam Bananas video come across my uh, YouTube algorithm or whatever and uh, I started watching Sam Bananas and I realized I still watch Sam Bananas uh, he's got one out right now where he was stealth camping I haven't got to watch it yet but I'm gonna watch it I saved it and I, I put a reminder on it so that I can watch it uh, but uh, he is the reason I got interested in stealth camping. And uh, I was doing like wilderness, wilderness camping. And actually the, the, second, uh, the first video I'd done was actually a stealth camping video because I took the kayak and I went down to my home lake and I went back in a creek and I camped. Well, you're not supposed to camp anywhere but in designated camping areas on my home lake. So technically speaking, my first video I ever posted that was a camping video was a stealth camping video. Uh, but uh, I owe Squib a ton of thanks because when I posted my video, that is, it's it, it's my I got it titled my first stealth camping video. Uh, when I posted it, he sent me a message and told me to start hashtagging my stealth camping videos to the Stealth Camping Alliance. And that has helped my cause tremendously. And Squib, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart because it is, it is added to the stealth camping thing for me totally and completely. Uh, I, I love this kind of camping. I love just getting out and going anywhere and camping. Uh, the reason I keep doing it, hell, it's addictive. Uh, I just like, I like doing it. Uh, I like the camaraderie for the, I've had a bunch of people, this is only my third video since I've been doing them again, uh, now that I've been able to. And uh, I've had several of the guys that that are that do the stealth camping videos. Uh, uh, and guys, I thank you, I know I haven't responded. Uh, life's just been crazy here lately uh but i uh it's 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 been kind of kind of overwhelming the response i've got since i've been back people tell me they're glad to see me back and and uh hope everything's okay and i mean and uh squib <laughs> i commented <laughs> i commented on one of his videos and he quote unquote told me to get my ass back out here that he missed me so I've missed you too, brother. Uh, 
I thank you for this. I thank you for the challenge, and I thank you for everything you've done for me. I mean, you're the reason that I hooked up with the Stealth Camping Alliance. Uh, you and Weed in the Bush. Uh, but I, uh, I don't really know what else to say, but I just, I like stealth camping. I, I think it's cool. Uh, I'm sure some of the places I go and some of the things I do, this being one of them, sooner or later I'm gonna get busted. Uh, when I do, I just hope everything's cool and I just hope it don't get out of hand. Uh, but it's, uh, I just like camping. I like being out in the, I just like being outdoors. So uh, my next video, I'm probably gonna do the video that I said my last video I was gonna do. I'm probably gonna go down to the river and camp in the designated camping area because it's the last week in the deer season. So I, I kind of, I came here because it's close to the factory and I'm hoping there ain't nobody deer hunting here uh, that I'm not interfering with. Uh, but I, uh, I just, stealth camping is kind of a rush. It's, it's cool, you know, you drive, when you're driving, going places, you, you just see a place, you say, I, I could camp there, yeah, I could camp there. And uh, I've been making, I've been taking notes when I go around, because I do, I go everywhere. I'm all over the place. So I, uh, I've got all kinds of places picked out. Uh, some of them, I haven't scouted many of them, so I don't really know if they're even an option, but I'm gonna find out. But uh, I, uh, I'm gonna do this as long as I can, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll get to watch a bunch of the videos for this one, because I wanna see what some of the guys cook. Uh, some of the guys really just, they do some, they do some really cool stuff with their meals and stuff, so. Hopefully I'll uh, be able to watch everybody's everybody's videos and uh, shout out to the Stealth Camping Alliance. Uh, uh, they're gone. All right, guys, it's about 11 o'clock. We're gonna hit the bed. Uh, it's been a good night. It's been an awesome night. Uh, had some great food. Hopefully I covered all the things I needed to cover for my November challenge. And uh, shout out to the uh, Stealth Camping Alliance. And uh, good luck to everybody. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <sighs> morning, guys. Man, I slept like a baby last night. I always sleep good out in the woods. <laughs> Well, it's about seven o'clock, almost. I'm gonna get up, get me some water boiling, get me some hot chocolate and smoked meal, and pack up and get ready to get out of here. I'll see you in a few.
main ingredient. <laughs> Good with hot chocolate. Goes good with coffee too. <laughs> well, guys, my ride's supposed to be here in about an hour, so I'm gonna get camp packed up, and I'll see you in a few. And I'm gonna enjoy my hot chocolate. too bad. My hands are a little cold because I'm breaking down camp right now, but other than that, it ain't too bad. That's cold. I didn't get cold at all last night. That's even better. Yeah. Well, they got beat, but it was last I figured. It's, yeah, then we lost by 10, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. And South Carolina beat the shit out of Tennessee. Really? And Vanderbilt beat Florida. Damn, the, SEC, the SECs went crazy, ain't they? College, that's college sports for you. That's college sports for you. And then some of the top ten teams that had to go down to the field goal to win. Like yesterday was a crazy day. But uh, you want me there when I drop you off at nine? Yeah, how about nine thirty? All right, man. That way I'm. Uh, I've still got. I've got at least. I've, it's it's like eight thirty right now, and I, that's probably about what I got is. 30 minutes or a little more before I get everything packed up. I'm taking the tent down now, so okay. I should, I'd say about between 30 and 45 minutes and then I got about a five or 10 minute walk out of here. Okay. Somebody, somebody shot right at the edge of dark last night and somebody shot right at, da right at daylight this morning. Really? Mm -hmm. Really close? Uh, yeah, not super, super close, but yeah, pretty close. It was somewhere, it was somewhere between here and the bypass. Or, or it was on this side of the bypass, I guess I should say. All right, sounds like a winner. I appreciate it. All right, bro. That's it, Wow, Tennessee lost to South Carolina. How crazy is that? Hmm. How crazy is that? All right, guys. We're all packed up. Ready to go. Uh, my ride's gonna be here in about 15 minutes. I got about a 10 minute walk, so I'm gonna get loaded up, get to the road. I wanna thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun to make. Uh, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. I got more coming. I'm gonna try to do one every week. So uh, I guess we'll see you the next time on the Buzz Brothers Outdoor Adventures. Everybody have an awesome day. See ya.